Yo, what is going on everybody? It's the Hand True Gamer. Hope you're a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best coin making methods to do in Madden 21 Ultimate Teams. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. But if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment because it has helped me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. And as always, there will be timestamps down below in the comment section. It should be the pinned comments, so that way you guys can skip to or skip a method if you guys don't like it or if you guys have already heard of it. For example, if you guys are on method number two, but you guys don't like it or if you guys already heard of it, then you guys can go down into the pinned comment, go to the timestamp next to method number three, click on that and go straight to method number three. So let's talk about the first method. So usually with the first method, I like to talk about what's coming up in Madden 21 Ultimate Team and how to prepare for it and how to make coins off of it when it does come. So right now we don't know when they're gonna come, but we do have a general idea of what's coming. The Super Bowl promo, the Team of the Year promo. So there's a couple promos still coming up in January that we should hopefully be getting soon. So next up should be the Team of the Year promo. So right now we don't know much about it, but I am gonna give you guys a suggestion that you guys can do to make coins off of it invest in power-ups because a lot of people will be getting free team of the year players from their team of the week tokens so if they're getting free team of the year players they'll probably want to power them up or they might sell it but some of them might want to power them up which means that a lot of people will probably buy their power-ups and the power-up prices will go up so investing in power-ups especially right now is definitely a great time to do it so i'm gonna give you guys a few suggestions for a few good power-ups to invest in and hopefully they get an upgrade and you guys can make some coins off of it investing in power-ups is always a great way to make coins you guys can make millions of coins from investing in power-ups it is risky because you guys can also lose coins from investing but the investments you guys want to look for are players that are doing well in the nfl right now and that have gotten an upgrade in a while so usually with it we're going to talk about the team of the year promo because obviously we don't know who's coming with the super bowl promo because we don't know who's going to be in the super bowl yet but we're going to talk about the team of the year promo and who to invest for for this team of the year promo so usually with the team of the year promo they gave they they give a upgrade to uh, the best player at each position like the team of the year so like they give like you know an upgrade to the one of the best strong safeties in the game one of the best quarterbacks one of the best halfbacks one of my favorite promos of the year because it gives a lot of good cards upgrades so i'm going to show you guys some good cards to invest in that have done good throughout this year and that haven't gotten an upgrade in a while. So Aaron Donald is a great investment because he's a really good player. He hasn't gotten an upgrade since the most feared promo, so it's been a few months. So Aaron Donald is definitely a good candidate for a team of the year right end. So I think he has about a good 70 to 80% chance to be the team of the year right end player. So Aaron Donald will most likely be getting a team of the year player card upgrade. So another good player to get is TJ Watt. So TJ Watt has an outstanding season so far, so I can definitely see TJ Watt getting a team of the year promo. I'm not a very good defensive guy. I don't really focus on the defense too much. I don't know many good defensive players, but TJ Watt I know is definitely one of the best ones out there, and he hasn't gotten an upgrade since his 90 overall team of the week player from like, you know, five months ago. So he needs a new upgrade soon. You could definitely see him getting it with the team of the year promo. You guys can, all you have to do is invest in, you know, two of these. You guys don't really necessarily need to invest in like 20 of these cards but even if you just invest in like one or two of these hold on to them until they get an upgrade and then immediately sell them the best time to sell these cards is right when you find out that they're about to get an upgrade so you want to make sure you guys have you know twitter obviously make sure you guys are keeping up keeping up with all the madden news and seeing if any of the cards you invested in is getting an upgrade because you want to sell them right then and there right when you know that your card's getting an upgrade you want to sell them then when all the hype is around it so tj watt and aaron donald i could definitely see both of them getting a, a team of the year card another player i could see is jamal adams his card is usually only going for under ten thousand coins but i actually checked it and he's going for i think about like eighty thousand coins for some reason right now yeah he's going about sixty thousand coins his card should go down in price the best time to invest is always saturday you always want to invest in these cards at a reasonable price you never want to over invest so don't pay too much investing so if you can i would try to find these for under 10,000 coins if you can try to find these jamal adams power for under 10,000 coins if not just don't invest in them but jamal adams if you guys can find them for under 10,000 coins is a great investment whether he gets an upgrade with the team of the year promo or not because whenever he does get an upgrade his power will skyrocket up whether it's with the you know team of the year promo or whether if it's with another promo so those are the three defensive guys i recommend you guys get on defense so like I said, i'm not a very good defensive guy more of an offensive guy because you know i don't really focus on the defense too much but those are three great players i know a couple other players like minka fitzpatrick stefan gilmore uh jalen ramsey i think jalen ramsey just got an upgrade though so i don't think jalen ramsey will get a card right away but some other good investments you guys can make on offense 
So let's talk about wide receivers. So a few good wide receivers I can definitely see getting upgrades is one, Devontae Adams. He surprisingly has not gotten an upgrade since week one of the team of the week when he got that 89 overall team of the week player. So he hasn't gotten an upgrade since week one of the regular season starts. That was like, you know, a good few months ago. That was like back in September. So he hasn't gotten an upgrade since freaking September. And he's arguably the best wide receiver in the game. Probably is the best wide receiver in the NFL. You guys can invest in a couple of his cards for 7,000 coins each. So he definitely has a really a good chance to get a team of the year card and you guys don't have to always invest in this power up you guys can invest in some of the elite players because sometimes the elite players are going for more coins than the actual players themselves so what i mean by that is that you guys can invest in Devonte adams 86 overall card so as you can see right there you guys can invest in a couple of his 86 overall cards same thing you guys can do that with aaron donald you guys could do that with jamal adams you guys could do that with any card you guys want to invest in you guys could invest in some of the elite cards rather than the power ups now that's risky because as you guys can see, these, these elite cards are going for, for a good 16,000 coins. So they're going for a decent amount of coins. It's a risky investment if you're going for the elite cards. So if you want to just play it safe, I recommend you just stick with the power-ups. But if you're feeling risky and you feel like that card has a good shot of going up in price, then you guys can invest in the elite cards too. So Devontae Adams is definitely a good candidate. Another good one is Stefan Diggs. He has not gotten an upgrade since the pretty sure week six he, he also got a team of the week player in week six so since not, he hasn't gotten an upgrade since week six of the regular season so that was a good pretty sure that was like in October maybe early November since he's gotten an upgrade so it's been a good you know a few months since he's gotten an upgrade probably try to find him for under 10,000 coins he's a little bit of a riskier investment because he's going for you know 10,000 coins but he's definitely a good candidate for a upgrade so another good one is DeAndre Hopkins so I don't know when he's going to get an upgrade he hasn't gotten upgrade since the most feared promo so that was like late october and i'm not sure if that's going to be late enough but i'm guessing that's late enough for him to get an upgrade so I can definitely see him in up, see, see DeAndre Hopkins getting a Team of the Year upgrade. He's gotten a Team of the Year upgrade before, so DeAndre Hopkins definitely has a good shot at it too. So those are just a few good investments you guys can make for the wide receiver position. Tyreek Hill maybe too. He got an upgrade with the Blitz promo, but yeah, those are some good wide receivers to invest in. As for quarterbacks, you guys know the best quarterbacks out there. It's kind of hard to know who's going to get an upgrade with the Team of the Year promo. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to get an upgrade because I think he's going to win MVP, so I don't think they'll give Aaron Rodgers an upgrade if he's going to win MVP so Lamar Jackson maybe he just got an upgrade with the Christmas promo so I don't know who's gonna get there's a lot of good players that deserve an upgrade from the quarterback position so yeah I don't know who they're gonna give the uh, team of the year quarterback card to because both Tom Brady and uh, Josh Allen both just got a playoff card so I definitely don't see them getting a team of the year card and it, Patrick Mahomes just got a zero chill card so I'm not sure if they're gonna give him a team of the year card after he just got a Christmas card and Aaron Rodgers got a 50 card and he might also win MVP but if I had to place a bet I would say it's either gonna be Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers that'll be getting the uh, quarterback for the team of the year player because Aaron Rodgers you know he's probably been the best quarterback throughout this whole year so I could definitely see him getting a team of the year card but he's definitely probably the best candidate to win MVP so I'm not sure if they'll give him a team of the year quarterback with also the chance of him winning MVP because then they'll have to give him like two upgrades within like one month so I'm not sure if to go with Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson because Russell Wilson went off on a really hot start he slowed down a little bit towards the end there but Russell Wilson has gotten upgrades in previous Madden's for the team of the year promo so I could definitely see Russell Wilson getting upgrades so I'd recommend you either invest in Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers if you're want to if you're wanting to invest in quarterbacks with the team near promo now let's talk about running backs this will be the final position we talked about and there are some good candidates that could definitely get upgrades with the running back position so for running backs the only two running backs i could see getting a team of the year card is dalvin cook or aaron jones because alvin kamara just got an upgrade with the zero chill promo i'm pretty sure he also just got a team of the year upgrade or not team of the year i think he just got a team of the week upgrade so i definitely don't see alvin kamara getting an upgrade even though he's probably been, been the best running back throughout the whole year he just got an upgrade so i don't think alvin kamara will be getting a team of the year upgrade the other candidate was derrick henry and derrick henry just got a 95 overall zero chill player so if i had to place a bet i would say either either dalvin cook because da dalvin cook has not gotten an upgrade since his 90 overall card a few months ago or I think might be Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones got an upgrade with the Thanksgiving promo, so I think it's been long enough for him to get an upgrade. It's been a couple months, so if I had to place a bet, I would probably say Dalvin Cook. So you guys can invest in a couple Dalvin Cook power-up cards just in case he does get a Team of the Year card. Uh, maybe Nick Chubb will get it, but he's missed like most of the season, so I'm not sure if they'll give it to Nick Chubb. But if I had to place a bet, I would say either Dalvin Cook or uh, Aaron Jones. But 
I would say more leaning towards Dalvin Cook getting a team leader card. So you guys can invest in a couple Dalvin Cooks if you want. And obviously for tight ends, you guys can invest in either Darren Waller or Travis Kelsey because those have been the two best tight ends all year long and there hasn't even been any competition. But those are some good investments you guys can make with the team of the year promo. Like I said, if you have any other good predictions that you think will be coming out to team of the year promo, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. Like I said, you guys want to look for cards that haven't gotten upgraded in a while and that have done good throughout the whole year and just like, you know, one or two cards at each position so those are my you know those are a few predictions for the team leader promo and a few good power-ups you guys invest in like i said be careful with your investments invest in probably only like a couple cards unless you really believe that card will be getting investment then you guys can go all out and invest in like 10 of them but if you want to play it safe i recommend you just invest in like a couple of the cards that i recommended and you know just play it safe and you guys can potentially be making a good amount of coins so with the second method, we're going to talk about my favorite coin making method and or my favorite consistent coin making method is this team builder set. So this team builder set has been working for me throughout the whole year and you guys can continue to make coins off of these team builder sets. All of these sets work. My favorite one is still the 88 overall one, even with the new one coming out. I don't really like the set too much. Still profitable. You guys can still make an easy about 5 to 10k every time you do this set as long as you guys buy these cards for the right prices. I just don't like it because you need 12 set cards to complete the set, right? So it's going to take you guys a good amount of time to finish the set. So that's why I don't like that set too much is because it'll take you guys a good amount of time. It's still a good method because every time you finish it, you guys are going to make a good 5 to 10k and it will sell faster than this 88 overall one. But I just don't like it because it, will, it takes a while. So you guys can do the 91 overall one if you want. But I'm just going to show you guys how to do this 88 overall one because it's still my favorite. It costs around 20,000 coins to do the set and you guys can sell the player for about 25 to 30k. That's another reason I don't like this 91 overall one. It cost about 80k or about 70 to 80,000 coins to do the set and then you guys can sell the player for you know around 85 to 90,000 coins so that's why I prefer the 88 overall one over the 91 overall one but you know you guys do you and you guys can do this with as low as 20,000 coins so I'm gonna show you guys how to complete the set for as cheap as possible. So first things first, we're going to get two 80 to 82 overall cards. So we're going to go call the 80 to 81 program core elite. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our budget because the market changes a lot. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find your budget. So what I do is I do quality 80 to 81 program core elite. I looked at the cheapest one. So the cheapest one is 2100 coins. Then I minus about 500 off of it, right? So 2100 minus 500 is about 1600. We'll just round down to about 1500. So that will be my budget. I'm going to try to find Find these 80 overall cards for 1500 coins or less so you guys are going to have to find your own budget because like i said the market changes a lot and here's a pro tip the best time to buy players are on saturday because that's when the cards are least expensive the best time to sell is on wednesday because on wednesday that's when the cards sell for the most so you want to sell on wednesday buy on saturday so that works with this method do too so holy crap i cannot talk today but if you do this method on saturday when cards are cheap and then you sell your team builder players on wednesday when cards are high you guys can make even more profit it'll require a good amount of patience because you'll be doing this set on saturday and selling it on wednesday so you'll have to wait for four days before you guys can actually make a profit but you guys can definitely make a lot of profit but for this video i'm just going to do a simple you know do this method right now and then sell it right now so like i said we're going to try to find these cards for about 1500 coins or less and uh, if you guys are doing this method on Saturday, you guys can try to look through the Legend filter. I wouldn't recommend you guys look through the Legend filter for the 80 overalls. I still recommend you go through the Core Elite filters. But what I do is I just do Program Core Elite, Quality 80 to 81. I just flip through a bunch of different positions. The only positions I avoid is the offensive lineman and the tight end positions. I just go through every uh, other position though. So like left end, right end, until I can try to find some of these cards for 1500 coins or less. So this is just what I do. And uh, sometimes it takes me a while, but sometimes I I can find them immediately so hopefully we can try to find these cards pretty quickly so i'm not going to bore you guys with this i'll see you guys once i get two cards about 1500 coins so i'm having a little bit of trouble trying to find these cards for 1500 coins so we're just going to take this one for about 1800 coins so usually if i can't find cards for my budget usually i just go up a few hundred coins and then just try to find cards for that price so i'm going to change it to under 2000 coins because it's getting a little bit harder to find these cards i'm also trying to snipe these cards at 5 p.m because i didn't really have time to record this video earlier but uh you know if you guys are trying to snipe these cards at the prime time here's one for 1500 coins so let's see if we can get in time we do get it but if you guys are trying to snipe these cards i would say try to snipe these cards around 
one or two o'clock Eastern time, then that would be a great time to do it. Like I'm, I'm trying to snipe these cards at around 5 p.m. So that's not a very good time to try to snipe these cards, but we were able to find 280 overall for a pretty decent price. But like I said, the best time to snipe is probably around like noon, anywhere between like 11 to uh, the three o'clock, whatever your time zone is. So we're going to now get 83 overall. So 80, 80 overalls are usually my toughest time to get. Usually taking me a good minute or two to get them, but we're just gonna go by quality 8283 program ultimate kickoff to find our 83 overalls because this filters down by just 83 overalls. So what I do is I usually just buy the cheapest ones I see. So 83 overall came in for 4,500 coins right there. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna buy two of these. So obviously you guys can go through those. You guys can do the same thing you, you did with the 80 overalls. Go through the core elite filter, try to find them for cheap. But I just like to do program ultimate kickoff quality 8283 just buy the cheapest ones I see because personally it's quicker that way and I like to do things quicker rather than take my time because it's better to make it's better to make 5k in five minutes than to make 10k in 15 minutes if you guys know what I'm saying so I like to just do it fast because it usually saves me some coins if I do it fast now when it comes to 84 to 85 overalls I used to do this 85 overalls but I found out that especially if you're doing it on Saturday especially if you're doing this method on Saturday legends filter is a great filter to try to find these 85 overalls on so I usually just do quality 84 to 85 go to type all offense and just try to find these cards for as cheap as I can so let's see can we find all we need is 185 overall so if we can find a good 85 overall for a good price now let's see so as you guys see right here 85 overall for 9400 coins so we'll just take this one because the first one we see we could probably try to find one for cheaper but legend filter is a great way to try to find these 85 overalls especially if you're doing this on saturday legend filters is great on saturday because a lot of people are opening up legend fantasy packs on saturday to open up these packs so i think we finished i think we finished the set for a little bit more than i wanted to i wanted to finish the set around 20k i think we did it for around 22k but we should still be able to make an easy 4 to 5k profit in about you know five minutes so let's see so if we go to my bids then we can see that we spent about 3,000 coins on those two then about 9k on those two so that's about 12k plus another you know 9 to 10k so that's about 21 to 22,000 coins somewhere in between there so yeah a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but we should still be able to find a card that sells for around 26 to 27k. So that is not the end of the method. What we're going to do now is we're going to finish the set and then we're going to find out which player is going for the most amount of coins. So the best part about the method is that you guys can choose any 88 overall team builder that you want. So we're going to find out which 88 overall team builder is going for the most amount of coins so that way we can obviously make the most amount of profit. So usually I just sort by offensive linemen. Usually one of these offensive linemen is going for a lot of coins. As you can see, left tackle Isaiah went going for about 29,000 coins. Now the companion app is going to help a lot. So the companion app is a app that you guys can download on your app store. So just go into your app store, search Madden companion app, link your EA account to that app, and then you guys can actually buy and sell cards from that app but that's not what we're going to use it for we're going to use it to see how frequently these cards sell because this app helps a lot when it comes to seeing if these cards actually sell because when you tap on a card it tells you their recent auction so like if i went onto the companion app right now and i searched isaiah win and i tapped on it then it would show that it recently sold 30 minutes ago that it sold for 29k and then an hour ago it sold for 27k two hours ago it sold for 26k so you guys can see what it's actually selling for so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to see if Isaiah Wynn is actually selling for 29,000 coins. So I'll be right back. So on the companion app, I can see that Isaiah Wynn has sold for 29,000 coins about 10 times in the past 5 hours. So that's good enough for me. So that shows me that he does indeed sell for 29,000 coins. So I did not mean to go into my item What we're going to do is we're going to go back out. We're going to go to our packs. And then we're going to select Isaiah Wynn. Put him up for 29,000 coins. And then make an easy, well, minus tax. That's about 27,000 coins. We spent about 22k. Made back about 27,000 coins. That's about a 5k profit in about 5 minutes. So it might not sound like much but if you do this like usually within an hour if i grind this for an hour i can usually do this method about 10 times and that's about 50k profit in 10 hours you know not too bad 50k profit in 10 hours is definitely not too bad and i'm lagging a little bit for some reason here we go so we're gonna choose isaiah win so i'm gonna put up for 29,000 coins and sometimes you guys can finish set for really cheap sometimes you guys can find really cheap set pieces so sometimes you might stumble across an 85 overall that's only going for like 5,000 coins and that'll really make you guys make more profit so it's not always are you guys going to pay the same amount of coins for the set sometimes you'll get lucky and find a really cheap set piece so what i do is i put him up for the price that i want to sell him for I put him up for eight hours if he doesn't sell within eight hours then i usually you know lower him down a little bit until he sells but he should sell for that price and that should be an easy 5,000 coins 
profit but that's how you guys do the method like I said it should be about 50 you know between 50 to 70k per hour definitely a good method to do highly recommend it very good method to just sit down and do but that is the second method the team builder method one of my favorite methods if not my favorite so the third method we'll be talking about will be these get a player packs. So these get a player packs is another great coin making method. These packs only cost 500 coins, so you guys don't need that many coins to do this method. I recommend you start this method off with like 10 to 20k though, probably 20,000 coins just to be safe. So that way you guys can buy a good amount of these packs rather than just buying two of these packs and hope that you make profit. You'll have a better chance to make profit if you guys open up like 40 of these packs rather than if you guys just open five, if you know what I mean. But it's going to guarantee profit every single time. Uh, there's a very very low chance you guys are going to lose profit, but as you guys see here, we pull an elite player 80 overall that sells for around i'm pretty sure about 1500 coins so we just made an easy about 1 to 2k profit right there just by simply buying a 500 coin player and then reselling him for about 2000 coins easy 1000 to 2k pull right there and with the new series update you're going to have a higher chance to pull a lead card so with every series update they always update the odds and make it better so we're, we're going to have a better chance to pull a lead card so here we pull a power up odell beckham jr that's a great power up to pull he's probably going for a good 4000 coins that's a 4k um, that's a 4k like, like that's easy 4k freaking profit right there just by simply opening up these get a player pack so power ups are usually the best thing you guys can pull sometimes you might pull some really insane power ups that might go for a lot of coins and then sometimes you might pull like a silver player like right here so if you pull a silver player you just want to put them into the next exchange set because this also makes it so that way you guys might be able to pull a power up so like if we finish the 70 to 74 overall gold exchange set then we have a good chance to pull a 70 to 74 overall power up that might be going for a lot of coins so there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this get a player method but I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways I don't really do this method too much but I'm gonna show you guys all the different ways you guys can do this method there's a lot of different videos out there so you guys can just search up like Madden 21 coin making method get a player packs there's a lot of different videos out there that show that shows you guys how to make coin from the get a player packs I'm no expert on the get a player packs but I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways you guys can make coin from it so one of the ways you guys can do this get a player method is by simply exchanging up your players. So like you guys can put your 62 to 65 overall players in here. You guys can put any 66 to 69 overall players you guys put in there. You guys, etc, etc. Just put any players you guys pull into the next exchange set with the chance of pulling a really good power up. Because EA has added the 50 power ups into packs. So like if you do the set right here, if you put four 70 to 74 overalls into this set. So like if you pull four 70 to 74 overalls from the get a player packs and you put them into the set right here, then you guys could pull a uh, 50 power up so you guys, you guys can pull a Mike all stop power up that goes for a good five to ten thousand coins you guys can also do that with the 80 to 82 overall there's some good power ups you guys can pull in here like I'm pretty sure you guys can pull a Sean Taylor power up that's literally going for about 80,000 coins or you guys could just simply pull in leak cards so it's a risky method because you guys I think there's a higher chance you guys will be able to lose coins but like I said, if you guys pull a power up from one of the 50 programs like Mike all stop or Sean Taylor or from any of the cards then you guys can make anywhere between like five to uh, maybe even a hundred thousand coin profits so it's a risky but it's definitely a profitable way to do it so that's definitely a really good way to do it another good way is by putting your gold players into these team of the week sets so these team of the week sets have exchange sets like right here this 82 to 90 overall team of the week set so to complete this set you need 32 78 to 82 overall players this is a bad example i don't recommend you do that set don't do that set because you need 32 of them uh let's see here do one of these is like earlier sets do you like this week four set so this set right here you need 8 77 to 82 overall overall players to complete this set and then you guys have a chance to earn a 79 to an 87 overall team of the week players team of the week players are actually pretty expensive so if you guys get lucky and pull like an 87 overall team of the week player then you guys can make some coins if you pull a 79 overall team of the week player you guys are obviously not making coins so a lot of people like to do that method because the odds on these packs are actually decently good you guys are going to pull elites more often than not from this set so it's a risky method because if you do pull a 79 overall then you guys are obviously going to lose coins but if you guys pull like a high overall then you guys can definitely make some good profits so yeah these team of the week sets are a good set to do and another good set is by doing these 50 exchange sets so like if we go back here to the 50 exchange then you guys can put your gold players into these sets so like these sets right here so like the 84 overall one you need 16 77 to 79 overall this is a bigger investment these sets are a bigger investment so like you guys could do this 82 overall fresh player 11 75 to 79 overall players to complete the set once you guys get 32 once you guys complete the set 32 times you guys will be able to get any 92 overall player from the 50 program you guys want so i've seen some people do that but it's a it's, it's a long road so there's a lot of different ways you guys can do it like i said just simply search up man 21 coin making method get a player packs 
I'm no expert on these get a player packs, but I do know that you guys can make a lot of coins from them. But those are just a few simple ways you guys can make coins off of them. I personally would just probably do this exchange set just because it's really simple. You're just opening a pack and just putting them into the next exchange set. As you guys could see in the previous packs, I pulled in Odo Beckham Jr. Power. Let's see how much that Odo Beckham Jr. Power is going for. Alright, so he's going for about 3,800 coins. That's a little bit less than I thought he was going for, but minus tax, that's about, still about 3,500 coins. That's still about a 3k profit, and with this guy, he's probably going for, you know, 2,000 coins, maybe 1,500 coins. He's going for about, yeah, 2,400 coins. So that's about a 2,000 coin profit right there. So, in total, we spent 1,000 coins on these two players and got back 5k. So, just like that, we made a good 4,000 coin profit by simply opening up two of those packs. I obviously got lucky, but you guys can get really lucky too. This is a method where you guys are going to slowly make profit with a small chance of potentially making that 30k profit. So, you guys might like make 1k profit here and there, but there's that small chance that you guys might pull that power up that goes for 40k and make it 40,000 coin power up just like that or you guys could just slowly make 1,000 coin profit here and there or 1,000 coin profit here and there and the small chance of getting like a 40k power up so like I said I would probably just go this route just putting them into the next exchange set because it's simple but there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this get a player method but it's definitely a great way to make coins. So with the fourth and final method, I'm going to show you guys how to complete this Mutt Master Series 4 objective list as fast as possible. So that way you guys can get your 125k and your plus 1 overall to Sam Mills once you guys complete these objectives. So you guys have to win 60 games with an 88 overall plus team and then 50 tackles for loss with Sam Mills. So this should only take you guys 30 minutes to an hour to do this. I really need to just sit down and do these, but it shouldn't take you guys that long. The only thing that might take you guys a while is the 60 games with an 88 plus overall team. If you guys don't have that, then just simply do some solo challenges there's some really good challenges you guys can do that will give you guys some high overall players that will definitely help out the overall of your team i went over the best solo challenges to do a few videos ago so you guys can check that out if you want but just do some solo challenges get some high overall players and then you guys also want to do some coin making methods and then buy some high overall players with the coins that you guys get it's not too expensive to get an 88 plus overall team but now once you guys get an 88 overall team then all you guys have to do is get your tackles for loss with sam mills so you guys want to go to team affinity make sure sam mills is either, either your middle linebacker number one or your middle linebacker number two then you guys want to do team affinity team standout series three and then you guys want to go down to let's see which one is it so right here so the dolphins so you guys are down by 24 fourth quarter with three minutes left so you guys want to find a challenge where they run the ball last so this is the best challenge to do because you guys are down in the fourth quarter so usually when you guys are down in the fourth quarter usually that means they'll run the ball a lot because the tackles you need tackles for loss you need with sam mills has to be one you have to do it with sam mills so if somebody else gets the tackles for loss with sam mills that doesn't count and two it has to actually be a tackle for loss excluding sacks so sacks won't count the only way you're going to do it is if they run the ball and you tackle the running back with sam mills behind the the line of scrimmage so i'm going to show you guys the best way to do that so once you guys load up into the challenge you guys want to go to formation three four odd and then you guys want to go down to pinch buck O. so if you guys don't have this play i am in the dolphins of defensive playbook so then you guys want to do pinch buck O. And then you want to just simply shoot the gap and try to get the tackle for loss. So this looks a lot better if Sam Mills is your middle linebacker number one. So I said Sam Mills can be your middle linebacker number one or two, but it's probably better if your Sam Mills is your middle linebacker number one. So once again, three, four odds, pinch buck O, and then just try to shoot the gap and get the tackle for loss done. It's going to take some practicing, but overall, you guys are probably going to be able to do it within 30 minutes to an hour once you guys get the hang of it. So let's see, can we get it? And uh, dang it, we cannot shoot the gap. And he keeps fumbling. I don't know why he keeps fumbling. Here, let me show you guys an example. So we're just going to try to shoot the gap here and try to get the tackle for a loss. So right here, as you can see, we got the tackle for loss. Just try to shoot the gap and try to hit the running back for a tackle for loss. So it shouldn't take you guys too long to get the hang of it. And it should also help you guys' skills improve by doing this. So not only are you guys getting your tackle for loss, then you guys are also improving your skills by trying to shoot the gap and get the tackle for loss done. So right there, I don't think that was behind the line of scrimmage, but you just want to do that over and over again until you guys get the 50 tackles for loss done. So he should run the ball every single time unless it's on third down. If it's third and long, I don't think they won the ball. Unless it's the two minute warning. All right, so if it's the two minute warning and it's third and long, then they'll run the ball. But if it's third and long and it's not the two minute warning, then they'll pass the ball. So right here, they'll run the ball. Can we shoot the gap? And dang, we couldn't get him. But like I said, just keep on doing this until you guys get your 50 tackles lost. Then might take some practice. There's no really easy method to do it. You just want to do pinch buck O. Or you guys can also do nickel double A gap mid blitz. So this right here, nickel double A gap mid blitz. If you guys don't have pinch buck O, there's a lot of different plays you guys can do. Just make sure you guys do a blitz 
try to shoot the gap, get the tackle floss done pretty easily there. So it should hopefully only take you guys one hour once you guys get the hang of it. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If this video did help you out, please do like and comment so that's how you can discover more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys can notify whenever I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching the Hands Free Gamer. Hope you have a fantastic day. God bless. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Peace.